Welcome to Weld.com. I'm working off of a new machine, Everlast MTS221 SI. And today I want to run some alternating current straight up TIG beads on aluminum. I'm going to use an E3 tungsten pure argon, about 20, 25 cubic feet per hour. And today I want to run a 4943 filler wire. I just want to see bead pro profile and see how this thing runs on AC. We get my gear on, I'll be right back. That was really smooth. All I did was wipe this material down, brush it down with a stainless hand brush. I didn't see any black at all in the bead. I wasn't picking anything up. Matter of fact, I think I want to try something right now. Uh, I'm not going to add any filler wire and see what happens, just to see you know, what's going on with the AC side of this. I uh, believe we have the machine set up at 30% cleaning action. About nine seconds of post flow, 200 amps, but I don't think I'm using all of it. 100 hertz. So I just want to run a bead now without any filler wire. Again, I'm using E3 tungsten. I didn't have any deterioration to this tip on the tungsten, so everything's good so far. So we'll run another bead just flat out with no filler wire, just for see what's going on with the pool. Um, after this bead, I'm sure this material is going to be hot enough. We'll, we'll put some uh, eighth inch 4943 filler wire to it, see what happens. We are on 100 hertz, aren't we? Well, I'm not sure about that little burp in there. I've got a couple of bug holes of porosity at the very start. <clears throat> Fairly normal when I'm not running any filler wire. And maybe that is coming off the material, but I want to run one more with the 332nd. And then I want to go to uh, eighth inch filler wire. That's me long arcing a little bit there to get back away from it. Super smooth, super smooth and super clean. I noticed the machine, this, the bead before this one, maybe I was holding a little bit too long of an arc, but I'm trying to stay back away from it as I'm feeding filler wire. It just quit. So maybe that's me, I don't know. I wanna run some eighth inch now and see what happens and I'm gonna change frequencies too. We got a little different look going on now. Woo, that material's superheated. I lightly brushed these when I got done. This last bead that I ran with eighth inch, I wanted the material warmed up a little bit, but I'm telling you it was superheated because I was trying to really back off here at the end. The arc tried to shut off on me, but I've created a big old floaty button out here. So <clears throat> um, I, wanna, I wanna do a fillet weld now. I do wanna reduce the uh, frequency back down to about 120 I believe I don't want it that high again I'm just you know I'm working with this for the first time on the alternating current for TIG so 
kind of working through some settings. Hmm, didn't like that at the end. Let's do this side here. I'm gonna do this side with 332. Hey, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Jerry Torgerson, Lampton Welding Supply in Wichita, Kansas, for uh, hooking me up with some 4943. I like this stuff. It's clean, smooth. I'm going to have to play around with this machine a little bit and uh, run some numbers on it, but so far I'm kind of liking it. I'm a little concerned when I'm terminating a weld. I'm trying to decrease the amperage to keep from blowing stuff up. It's like we got a little sputtering thing going on, so. Maybe I've got, uh, maybe I, do a, I need to do a better job of grounding, but so far I'm kind of liking the bead profiles and the cleaning action and everything. Everlast MTS 221 SI. Pretty cool little package, got a lot of stuff going on with it. So thanks for watching Weld.com. Bob Moffat with Cali College. Good luck, sucker. Really? Yeah. I think your uh, ethics at golf are about as pale as your skin. <laughs> <laughs>